in the. Uh, You're all right. She's a, yeah. She'll be fine. I mean, we'll, we're fine, really. That's we're all. Okay, yeah. We're okay. Yeah. And listen, as a camera woman, that's what you have to risk sometimes. Okay. Get to get the good shot. Got to get in the line of fire. Oh, sometimes. watch your back! Oh, he's got. Oh. All right, so. <laughs> I'm here with uh, Luke Rensland. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nailed it. Now, we're here at Walden MX, and uh, we're doing a camp here. Mm -hmm. But you're you're a young guy. It's, uh, how old are you? 22. 22. Yeah. Shouldn't you be out practicing or something like that for these for this career you got? Uh, no. Right now, I'm a, I'm in the middle of my off season, so um, you know, I I was racing from February through uh, a couple weeks ago was our last race, and um, both Supercross and Motocross, right? Supercross in February until the end of April, and then uh, Motocross starts uh, a week later in yeah. May. And you go all the way till uh, the end of August. So. Which which Supercross was it? East Coast was it AMA? What was uh, the? I did East East Coast Supercross. East Coast in Supercross. The class, yep. And then what about the motocross? Uh, motocross, you do the full season and uh, 250 class. So okay. that's west, east. That's the whole country. That's the whole thing. Yeah. The whole shebang. Yeah, you're you're over the whole thing. So uh, which do you, which do you like better? Because I, I always hear some guys like Supercross better, like motocross better. What do you like better? Um. I just like a to win. I just you yeah like to, yeah. Like, I, I like that. You know, I, I like I like Mama Speed, but uh, no, I, I like both. I like a variety. You know, sometimes after a full season of motocross, you kind of get burnt out, and and then you're excited to get back on Supercross, and then after a few months of that, you get burnt out, yeah, and you're, now, you're, you're ready to go, go back. back on motocross. So, so right now, it, you're pretty much done until Feb like when do you get back into training, or you really don't stop training. I'll get back into training in November. Okay. Um, what month? Is it? September. Okay, yeah. it's September. Yeah, so. it's September. Got a couple months off, but you know, I'm gonna still ride and stuff, but just won't be on my full regimen. Not like full all balls yeah, to the exactly. wall. This is like a stress release, you know, season. You know, kind of a is couple it, months of not worrying uh, uh, about racing. Right. I'm not. Do, yeah. now, do, do you like? It? Is there something that when you're teaching these kids? Because we got kids from three years old all the way up to old, old, you know, old guys here. Yeah. Is there something that when you're teaching these kids, you're like, oh yeah, I got to remember that I got to practice that too. Uh, <laughs> Cornering or I, actually, yeah, like it, 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 it kind of brings some fundamental stuff back working with more of the beginner riders. You know, you kind of, you get so wrapped up in all the technical things about the sport, you know, as you're getting to the professional level, you're thinking of such sophisticated things that you kind of forget about the fundamentals. So sometimes it's good to get back and kind of remind yourself that, you know, these things matter too. Now, I'm sure like when you were 14, 15, 16, like that's when it kind of clicks for these guys. A lot, a lot of the pros mm -hmm. where it's like, okay, I'm really good at this. Yeah. And now you got to take it to that next level. What was like, and, and I, you know, I see how you guys are with the kids and the amateurs and very, you know, nurturing, like little fly, little butterfly. Yeah. But, you know, these, the kids we just, the group we just worked with, you know, they're probably all around 16, 15, right? Yeah. They're, yeah you you got to be, they're all good. And yeah. you got to be tough. But they were doing corners right here. And you almost have to, like, get on them a little bit. So what was one thing that guys had to get on you about? Your, your trainers. God damn it. Dab in the corner. Or <laughs> cor get off the brake. You know, I yeah. hear you guys yelling. Get up. You know, there's there's been a lot of things. Uh, my worst habit as far as that goes, is dragging my rear brake, which okay. I, st I still do it constantly. You still do it? Yeah. You know, um, you scared? What's what's going on? <laughs> it might be a little bit of that. Yeah, a little bit of fear. At, at this point, it's not even being scared. It's just a terrible habit. It's just a habit. That, that, you know, I've been riding since I was two, so I've been riding for 20 years now, and that's 20 years of bad habits just built up. But uh, that that's another... And here comes Whoa. a little... Here Whoa. comes a little, guys. Oh, easy, guys. Easy, guys. Shut her up. Shut her up. Shut it up. Shut her up. Easy. We got, Easy. We got a couple minutes. We got a couple our... minutes. Relax, kids. That, that was you. How how old is this group? Five, uh, six. What are we? Four, four eight, eight. Eight. Yeah. So so we got we got eight nine. and nine years old. Yep. So are you, we're not gonna be yelling at these kids. <laughs> uh, <you laughs> maybe, know. maybe, hey, right? Hey, we get off. Don't ride the rear brakes. I'm gonna tell you right now. And make sure you right. Is that? I'll yell at them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I don't want to yell at them. You know. <laughs> you know. I, I don't know. Yeah, so, sometimes you have to a little bit, you know, you kind of have to see what kind of kids we got here and when, when you, know, you were, they can handle it or not. When you were their age, were you overly enthusiastic about going off the jumps and, and trying to pass people in these these training camps where it's like these drills, it's where you're just going in circles yep. and going in circles. Did you, were, were, 
did you try to work on the fundamentals or you were were you one of these ah, i'll just do what i want honestly uh when i was young like they are um i was just kind of riding for fun you know my brother was kind of more of the he was serious he was taken more seriously in our family he's four years older than me so he got into it and what's uh, his name Cody. Cody Renslin? Yep. Okay, Cody what Renslin. was he did you did you guys reach the same level? Was he uh, higher than you? No, no. He um he, like I said, he was he was like the golden child for a little bit. I was riding <laughs> I was riding the hand me down bikes and everything like that. And um yeah, I was kind of always just riding for fun. I think that helped kinda, you know, not burn me out. But he ended up uh he got a little bit burnt out with it, and it he stopped racing in 2009. Okay, and he basically just hung up the boots mm-hmm. just to help me. So now he's my riding coach. Uh, he cooks for me, cleans. He, he does everything. He goes to all the races with me. We we live in Florida together under the same roof, so um, we're pretty much attached at the hip. So, right, right, right now, he's actually changing the motor for me so I can race the GNCC tomorrow. Okay. So. Oh, at uh, at uh, Unadilla, yeah, yep. yeah. Okay, the yep. Enduro, right? Yep. Yeah. So, I'll, so, so he, look at this. You're here teaching kids, and then we, we got to go ride tomorrow. You guys going to watch Luke tomorrow at Unadilla? Who's going to Unadilla? Nobody? Probably nobody. Why not? Drive. You're, you're okay. They're racing tomorrow. All right. We'll, we'll allow that, right? Yeah, they're all probably right. going to Claverack. Pro- probably. Everybody's going to Claverack? Yeah, they're yeah. all going to Claverack. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. all right. So, uh, we, we got to get back to teaching these kids. You, you're not well? Well, go to Unadilla or Claverack. All right? There's no excuse. Well, you don't got school. There's no no school started. Yeah, I think he's ridden up today. He's gonna go grab a seat on his couch and play some video games. And play some video games. Probably, play, that's play what I want to do too. MXGP or something yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, last question: Is there? A, can you take a break uh, from just total mode from riding? Is there something that you do that just uh, okay? Is it video games? Is it food? Is it what, what's there something to, to uh, get away? Well, there's always a lot of food in this off season. Like yesterday, I ate like 48 chocolate chip cookies. Honestly. There we go. But what? but um. Even when we're in the season, uh, we play volleyball. Uh, we have a volleyball court at my house down okay. in Florida. So we do a lot of that. Um, and also getting pretty big into karaoke. Okay. So Kids? I, I'm serious. I, I got a full, full karaoke set up in my full house. Full karaoke. Yeah, we've got two big subs, um, you know, the, the monitor, the mixer, three microphones, a drum set, guitar. Drum set. Basically, so you go the whole band. Hardcore. Yeah, it's it's a it's a live performance slash karaoke. If I have a karaoke contest, what's your go? Like you gotta win it. There's no hands down. What's your go-to song? I'm crushing it. And is there dancing involved? And is that important for a karaoke routine? Uh, dancing's always important. Always important, right? It's it's performance. Performance based. Over vocals. Yeah. Okay. But um. I'm gonna say my go-to is gonna be uh, "Don't Stop Me Now" by Queen. Okay. Oh, that's such yeah. a good. That's great. That, it, I mean, that, it's, that is that it gets you. It hits you right from the exactly, start. Exactly. Exactly. And it really describes my karaoke career. "Don't Stop Me Now." Don't stop me now. Leave me with this mic. Let me do another song. There Don't we go. Stop me now. So, uh, so Luke Renslin and uh, "Don't Stop Me Now." That's pretty much uh, how it goes. Uh, you, you, I'm sure you bust out pyro and whatever else and glitter and, uh, and smoke machines. Do you um, do you come out in the in, in the white? Like oh. skin tight leotard, Freddie Mercury oh. style. There's never a karaoke performance. I mean, he kind of looked like outfit. Freddie. I mean, he could shave the he could shave the beard mm-hmm. and, and rock the Freddie. I, Mer- I, had, I did the mustache for about two months earlier this spring, oh, and I looked me. exactly like a young Freddie Mercury. Please tell me there's a picture somewhere. Oh, I have plenty of them okay, on my Instagram. Okay, yeah. So yeah. here here's the picture. If I find it, yeah. Oh, here, here's the picture it. right now. Yep. Boom. All right. So all right there we go. So thank you, uh, Luke and uh, kids. You got a good teacher here, so learn. Listen, absorb, and uh, that's it. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Oh, wait, wait. Shameless self-promotion. What? Uh, I'm all about shameless self-promotion. You got an Instagram and all that stuff? Oh, yeah. Uh, at Luke Renslin 50 right. on Instagram. At Luke Renslin 43 on Twitter. Right. Um, uh, Facebook. Websites. I don't really use Facebook. Websites. Um, no. You got like really. a factory team or any of that stuff? Yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out to uh, Traders Racing Team, uh, Traders Yamaha. That's who I rode for this year. Um, probably going to be riding for them next year okay. as well. That, the details aren't polished yet, but looking like I'm going to be riding for them next year. And uh, yeah, that, that's Luke Renslin, check me out. There we go. Uh, YouTube, Dreamland. That's YouTube. my track in Florida. Okay. Check out Dreamland MX. Um, that's pretty much yeah, it. It's a great way to stay in shape. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks.